Michael Ori here. Let's talk about the blind side. Did the movie came out in, what, it, it was in, uh, in 2009. So it's about uh, an underprivileged Sandra kid. Sandra Bullock? Yeah, Sandra Bullock yeah. was the uh, the mother, and uh, Tim McGraw, was, uh, uh, he played the father. So it's basically about an um, underprivileged Af- Af- African-American teenager who's living on the streets, impoverished, yep. um, who his life got completely transformed by a quote-unquote generous family that... Generous was Christian to... family. Because the whole stereotype was like, listen, you have this Christian white family. Yeah. Bringing in this big brother, 16-year-old, and they're both 16 years old, and he goes, is that weird? Is it odd? You know, the whole stereotype, why would you uh, bring this kid who's homeless into your home, la da da but listen, it was Christian love yeah. all the way through, and, you know, the whole upbringing, and the younger brother, you know, these kids are looking at Michael Orr as a big brother, and so he went to Old, old, old Miss, got drafted by the um, Baltimore Ravens, but now it comes out that things aren't as clean as that movie portrayed because come to find out Michael Orr really, according to his side of the story, wasn't really adopted. He was put under conservatorship, which meant that Leanne and her husband, who was played by Tim McGraw in the movie, yeah. controlled his business life. They were basically signing documents yeah. uh, on his behalf, basically controlling his money, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. So I'll give you my initial take on this. As I'm doing my back and forth, back and forth, it's 2023. He gets out of the league, what, 2016? Yeah. So seven years later, after getting out of the NFL, after playing five, six years in the NFL, now he's talking about money. So let me play devil's advocate here. Usually most NFL players, most professional athletes, they run out of money three, four, five, six years after getting out of the league. Out of the league, correct. So why now in February 2023 this year, he files a lawsuit, talk about you owe me money, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He's probably out of money. Yeah. So he's probably out of resources, and he's going back to the only thing that he can depend on, which was his quote unquote adopted family, which really is a conservatorship and you know, lawyered up, went throughout this whole thing. Anyway, the family responded. They're obviously disappointed. If they wanted to end the conservatorship, they don't mind ending the conservatorship. My, but the, here's my other question How come did they didn't end the conservatorship? Mm-hmm. So if they needed to sign the conservatorship because he, at the time he was, what, 16, 17, 18 years old, and they needed to sign for him because he's at that age where he's too old to be adopted, Yeah. right? How come they didn't end the conservatorship when he got into the NFL? Like, dude, that's your money. You know, knock yourself out. And it's still <laughs> unfolding. The details are unfolding, unless you found some things that we can kind of no, no, that's, fill that, that, No, that's exactly what. Uh, everything that you just on. We actually had a TikTok video that was kind of breaking down everything that you were speaking on. Um, but uh, it actually spoke on the, uh, the family, the mom and the father, they actually have a book and they talk about the entire thing, uh, the entire situation with you know, bringing them on board to their family, uh, their values, their principles, what they stand on. And they speak on how when they start getting these royalties from the blind side, they split these royalties in five different ways. And one of the ways was for him and mm-hmm. being able to put that money in a trust for his son. Gotcha. Right. So. So again, the same same thing that as you basically stated. You know, what my question would automatically be: Why did he wait this long? You know, could it be that he was just that now that he, after X amount of time out of the NFL, uh, he's broke and now he needs a quick come up. You know, um, and the the movie made money. Yeah, it went all over the world. It's an inspiring movie, man. Three hundred million dollars, three three hundred nine point two million dollars to be exact. Why don't we take a look at the video? It was the feel good hit that won Oscar gold. Oh, but now the former NFL star, whose real life story inspired The Blind Side, says it was all based on a lie. Kaylee Hartung with the stunning claims. Never had one before. What a room to yourself. Can we fast? Can we fast forward through this? A bit. Can we cut to the. The two 2000- thousand. The couple tricked him in 2004, less than three months after he turned 18, into signing a document that made Sean and Leanne Tui his conservators, giving them full legal control over any of his contracts, but no familial relationship. It's a lie or says he discovered to his chagrin and embarrassment just six months ago. Well, a conservatorship is very different from an adoption. A conservatorship does not create a family relationship. It creates a legal responsibility. With that power, the petition alleges the Tuies negotiated the movie deal for The Blind Side in 2006. Orr claims the family made millions in royalties, while Orr says he received no payment whatsoever. The Tuies have not responded to comment, but in their 2010 book, In a Heartbeat, they said of the money made from the movie, we divided it five ways. Sean Tuie Jr. said in an interview today the family was not surprised by the lawsuit. I get 
splitting the money five ways. But why should the two kids get split money? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Why, why is the, uh, I get mom and dad. Yeah. So you really should be split three ways. Those are, those are the ones who brought them up. And then from the, their split, the parents split, they should get, give it to the kids. They, they should give it to the kids. Correct. So why are they equal party? I, I, by the way, I don't know the percentages. Yeah. And we're, we're continuing to find out. So I don't agree with that. He, yeah, he's the story. Yeah. Mom and dad are the story. The kids he ain't part of the story, man. Yeah. So you should step aside or should have stepped aside and not be part of this split of, 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 of the money. I know. I Let's continue this. I, I wanna, let's, let's continue to unravel this. Said in an interview today, the family was not surprised by the lawsuit. There were things back in... 2020, 2021, that they were like, you know, if you guys give me this much, then I won't go public with things. Michael Orr is now 37 years old and retired after playing eight seasons in the oh, NFL. Seasons, okay. He is asking the court to end the conservatorship and prohibit the Tuies from using his name and likeness and pay him his fair share. So okay. ending that makes sense, right? Yeah. I mean, you're 37 years old. Yeah. You would assume that by the time you hit 18 years old, or at least by the time you get to, to the big leagues, mm -hmm. that, all right, it's done. We did our part. You know, we did our part. We took you out as, as, as a yeah. uh, legal responsibility. But now you're of age. Now you can make your own decisions. Now you're an adult who's making your own money. You don't need us no more. If you want to help us in any way, if you want to like just be, continue being part of our family, if we mm -hmm. treat you correctly, mm -hmm. great. Do it from your kindness of your own heart, but not in a legal manner where we are going to consistently be in your life because we're the one who we're the ones who put you on. I don't I don't, I don't believe in if you're gonna give a helpy hand to somebody and pull them up pull them up, don't expect anything in return ever. Zero from that. Yeah. Ever. When, if you're doing it from your own heart, fantastic. But if you're doing it with with your with the idea that you're just trying to get something out of it in the long run, you're doing it for, for completely wrong reasons. It's it's still an unfolding story, but you know it's 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 in a lawsuit, so it'll be public here in a second. Yeah. But it'd be sad to see if his NFL money went to them. Yeah. It puts a black eye in the Christian community, into to people who want to go out there and and uh, look out for folks. I mean, you should still look out for folks, but yeah. like what you said, if you're really looking out for folks give without any expectation of something in return or yeah. even a thank you. Yeah. I don't even expect a thank you. You're giving because you're in charge of giving because this money that you have, this life that you have, it's not yours. It's been given to you. So it's your job to be a wise steward of it and, and, and given to others what, as much as has been given unto you. So mm -hmm. I, what I don't like, though, is now after 30, at 37 years old, now he's going after this. Yeah. Um, you know, he's had to have some other advisors behind him outside his family. Yeah. And so if the family didn't unwind the conservatorship after he got drafted into the NFL, I get it because of the movie. I just don't get it because of, you know, his money inside the NFL. I, I, I don't get that part. And why now after six, eight years of playing in the NFL, he's, he's nearing 40. Yeah. Why is this being... Well, let me ask you a question. Let me take it a step further. You wouldn't, you wouldn't assume or think that both parties are involved in this? To once again become relevant news, once again become relevant news, become the face of the news of what's happening, bring up the movie, bring anything up that could potentially bring more exposure to them once again, so they can continue to make more money. Because again, the, what the Blind Side was made what, in 2006, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 07, 06. This so was been years, and yes, it's a great movie, yeah. but yet even great things die out, and people forget you become a past thing. Mm -hmm. And now the endorsements, the yeah. royalties, and all that starts dying, dwindling down, right? Mm -hmm. and, and both of them may be encountering some financial hardship. So, could this potentially be one of those stunts, celebrity stunts, where you cause a big chaos within the media, and at the end of the day, both of you guys come out winning because now you got the exposure that you want. It creates a lot of buzz. Yeah. Well, kind of like that guy. Who's that guy that faked uh, faked a uh, an attack in Chicago, and that. Uh, or the young lady in Atlanta that faked her being kidnapped. Yeah, you know, so yeah, lot, saw that. Lot, yeah, yeah, saw that. A lot of these things are, are being, a lot of these things are <clears throat> stunts. So, um, I don't know. Uh, it's been interesting that they both released books. <laughs> to your point, it's interesting yeah. how they've released books and memoirs of the whole situation. It's being brought up in this news uh, news report. But nonetheless, if you are out there, any any aspiring athlete, especially right now in colleges, you are in charge of your brand. You got to make sure, and, and by the way, even even before we, sh we were on the show, Jordan's around here asking to make sure that any things we bring on the show, yeah. we don't bring on anything that is branded. Otherwise, are they paying us to have this brand on our podcast? And even to this day, after three, four years of having my YouTube channel, after the 32 episodes here we've had on the Millionaire Goals podcast, for years, as much as I could have taken on a sponsor of the show, I haven't. This is all self-financed because we can talk about what we want to talk about, bring up topics we want to bring topics about. We're not sliding either way outside of our own growth and personal opinion about what's going on in the marketplace today. And based on how us as, as entrepreneurs look at the, at the world through the lens of the Bible and how we can make sure we make the right business decisions, financial decisions for the betterment of our 
our, our, our family. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.